gathering medication part two. Um, just wanted to touch base on the last blog. Didn't quite finish it in regards to gathering evidence. Um, as I said, first things you really do need is your patient history profile. That is a must. Everything else can follow at a later date. If you can't get it, as I said in the previous blog, the tribunal will request it on your behalf. So I would say draw a line under that. In regard to other evidence, um, to save your time, don't save letters of appointments. Do not send letters of appointments. They don't give anybody information apart from you got an appointment for a particular condition or for something to be looked at. It has no relevance and has no weight to it. Okay, so don't send letters of appointments. It's just no point to it. Right, now I want to touch on aids and adaptions. Okay, now this may take two blogs. This is a very, very convoluting, intense, and there's a lot of it, you know. Um, you may think, I may come across things that you haven't thought of or not heard of, but there are aids and adaptions, and I want to touch with you base on that today, really. Um, cooking. For prime example, aids and adaptions, all right? Think about cooking. Do you need a perching stool? Do you need adapted tools? Do you need adapted saucepans? Can you actually pull something out without burning yourself? If you can't, then you'd need an aid of some description. Whether it's recognised by the DWP or not has no relevance as long as you are using it as an aid. I also would suggest with your aids and adaptions, take photographs of them. Put your national insurance number and send it with your application. Send physical photographs of all aids and appliances, adapted appliances that you need to use. In the kitchen, in the bathroom, in the toilet, get into your car, putting your socks on, putting your trousers on, etc. Photograph it all. Don't miss anything out. Right, aids and adaptions. Now, I come across a lot of people saying, oh, we've got people doing this for us. We, we don't need aids and adaptions. We've got people doing this. We've got people doing that. You do need aids and adaptions. Whether you use them or not is irrelevant. It's about the... You've got to look at this as the word independent. If you had no bubble around your house no bubble coming to see you no bubble support helping you at all how would you manage these functionality difficulties on your own i.e cooking can you stand for more than three minutes without falling over could you stand holding a knife trying to peel some spuds without falling over hurting yourself cutting yourself etc pride comes before a fall as they say and I come across people that say, oh, I don't need this, I don't need that. If you turn around and say, I don't need it, you're not going to get your PIP. This whole process is about need. It's about your functionality difficulties and need. If you And you may not use it, but do you need it? And this is the thing that you really got to think strongly on, is about, okay, I don't need it. The other thing, briefly, and I will contact on, is prime example is, you may need an aid, but you cannot use one. Therefore, you would still qualify for points and the use of an aid, whether you don't need them. Prime example, say you have severe hemorrhoids, okay? And you can't sit for very long and you're in a wheelchair, you've got carpal tunnel and you're uncomfortable sitting. You may need the use of a wheelchair, but you can't use one. You can't self-propel because you've got carpal tunnel, which stops you from gripping and being able to propel yourself. With your hemorrhoids, you can't sit for long. You have to move every second or every couple of seconds because you can't sit comfortably. So therefore, you cannot use this aid and adaption. But it doesn't mean you don't need one. You just cannot use it. All right. And I suggest what I say to everybody that asks for my help is sit down. And think, of, and this is not pleasant, this is where I, I'm a bit brutal and I get no pleasure out of this, but this is where you've got to disseminate your life 
and it's going to make you more miserable by doing it. But until you accept that you need but can't use, or you need and it's about time you went and used, till you accept that, you will be fighting the process all the time. Because as I said, it is evidence-based. Full stop, no get out of jail card, no pass go without 200 pounds, all right? It is about need, it's about you showing the need, but also getting them to focus on why you can't use something. Um, I'm going to approach this subject in another blog. I don't want to bore you. I've hit my minutes. Um, I will talk to you again a bit depth. What I would like you to do is if there are any questions you would like me to answer via a blog. And this is a huge area. Um, I may not have the answers to them all. But I've worked with so many different people with so many different conditions and disabilities. I'm bound to have touched base on at least one that someone may want to throw at me. Give me a shout. Ask me. Ask me a question via my blog. Put it in a message. I will respond. Talk to you soon. Have a good day. Bye.